son.
many years from the mothers that don't know as they are here. True. And I'm just thinking, when you were singing that, you know, she used to couldn't even sing the first line of that. I, that. I, I know she misses her mother just oh. as much, but every time that she sings that line, I think about Sister Dot up there at that hospital at Sunday. And then I think about my mother. And I know Carolyn, Lynn, some of some of the ladies here, it hasn't been that long ago that they lost their mother, but you never get over from your mother. Just listen. No. I, I pick up things at my house that belong to my mother, her biscuit pan, every time. And you know, I just think about her all the time. A mother is just and I, I mean, I'm a mother. I'm a good mother. Ask Tim. <laughs> but uh, it tears. You know, it's it, your mother. You've got your mother with you. You need to treasure. You, you know, let her know. Man. Let her know that you love her. Because when she's gone, you'll pick up that phone. You want to pick up that phone a hundred times. To call her. And I did it for so long after my mother died. But I, every bit of information, and Lord, what a godly mother I have. What a godly mother you have. And uh, it's just a blessing because, you know, mothers, we've got some good mothers, but they're getting there where they'll just kill their kids, they'll throw them away. And, uh, but I just, I just praise the Lord. It's Mother's Day, and I want to say to my mother, Happy Mother's Day, and I can't wait to see her. Wow. I just can't wait to see hey. when I get in to see her. I've already told the Lord this morning to tell my mother to tell God see Tommy and some folks that I love with all of my heart. Yes. Wherever they are in heaven, let them know I miss them still. I don't, I don't know. And I told this to preacher one time. I said, I, t- I talk to Al all the time and I tell the Lord things to tell Al. Right. When he first passed, the preacher knows that. Right. But I don't know. The Bible don't say. He says, right. it says we're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Right. I don't know but what's that. That's not part of the day. And all of our others that right. we love, we don't know that. But I still want to pay tribute to my mother this morning. She left me when she was, I was 15 year old. And she had just turned 41. Right. And a precious, precious. Christian mother. At 15 back then, Brother Happy, you just know about what uh, five years old children know now. You know, I was born in the mountains and didn't, I didn't know nothing. But I know <coughs> the love of my mother was. Right. And when she was in Biscuit and Gravy and Strickley, man, alive, ain't nobody still right. And these things, the Biscuit hand the girl was talking about, you don't forget the little things, just right. the little things. Wow. The last year, and I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this to make these kids, you kids or the grandkids, you want to feel, but do you remember that tear that Dorothy shed on? Wow. Somebody, one of you kids said, I love you, Mama. And that tear comes out. She didn't know, but we don't know what she did everything that we see. Wow. That tear, wow. tear came down. I would never forget that as long as I live. I'm going to tell you something. If you've got a good godly mother, yeah. Ryan, I told you that this morning. Thank God you're here with her. There's nothing like next to God, the love of a good Christian mother yeah, that's right. is the very next thing. God's a godly love. We can't understand that. We can understand the love that we have for our mothers and for our daddies if they're the kind of person that they need to be. Right. And I think it's one thing real hard in the morning. Every time we sing that song, too, I think of your mom happy. She's such a great influence to me. I want so much for her. I can't even go to the job. I miss her mother. You know, but she did, she taught me a lot. And I appreciate her for that. And then Judy stepped right in <laughs> and keeps teaching me. <laughs> So, I just thank God for, for every mother here, and wow. I thank God for my mother. If I still have her with me, I can't imagine not talking to her every day. So, I, I feel safe, safe and gay. 
everybody knows how much I wish my mom was here today. She was such a precious mom. She kept us four kids together. She went through the abuse all her life that I didn't remember, but she was still such a precious, precious mom. And you teenagers and your kids out there that has a mother, you better tell them how much you love them. And you better mean it. Because they might not be here tomorrow. They might go on today. We might all go on today. We don't know. But I want to thank Debbie and Eddie for dragging me from Panama City. I picked them up here, kicking and screaming. They got their hands full when they got me. So, uh, I just want to thank them and I love them so much. I love each and every one of y'all so much. Y'all are a blessing to me. And happy you're something else. When we had our pastor come to church on his motorcycle, <laughs> I told I don't know how many people in Panama City had beans tonight. I said, you won't believe this. Because <laughs> I could just see the pastor down there coming up on the motorcycle. <laughs> but you're a blessing. Amen. And I love you. Let's all stand, grab our songbooks. Us are getting ready for the morning offering. Let's all uh, turn to 235. He set the free.